For decades, we've stared into the cosmic abyss, hoping, guessing, imagining, searching not just for planets or stars, but for something different, something impossible. We've sent our machines, Voyager, Hubble, and now the James Webb Space Telescope to slice through the darkness of space and expose its deepest secrets. But what Webb just uncovered may not be a secret. It may be a message. And even worse, it might be alive. At first, three Atlas looked like just another interstellar traveler, a ghostly rock flung across the void. But it wasn't just glowing, it was pulsing. Not randomly, but with chilling precision, like a heartbeat, a signature. And what came next wasn't just a mystery, it was a warning. Stay with me until the end, because if this discovery is what some scientists believe it is, then we're not alone. And we never have been. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to look further than any human eye ever could across galaxies into the birthplaces of stars and beyond the edge of time itself. But in a routine sweep of deep space, it locked onto something moving unnaturally, a speck of light where there should have been nothing. This was 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to pass through our solar system. But unlike Oumuamua or Borosov, this one wasn't silent, it was shouting. At first, astronomers thought it was just highly reflective, like a comet coated in ice. But Webb's infrared sensors revealed something far stranger. The object was not reflecting heat from the sun, it was producing it. An internal thermal signature centralized and pulsing faintly. This was not the signature of a rock. It was the signature of something active. As teams at NASA and ESA began analyzing the data, one pattern kept resurfacing. A rhythmic thermal pulse coming from deep inside 3 Eye Atlas. Natural objects don't do this. Comets emit heat as they sublimate, releasing gas and dust in unpredictable bursts. But this pulse, it was consistent, deliberate, like a machine. When the web team cross-referenced the readings with known astrophysical phenomena, pulsars, neutron stars, quasars, none matched. Then came the photo trick data. The light spectrum wasn't scattered. It was focused. Narrow bands of energy emitted in specific wavelengths, the kind we use in communication, the kind we design for satellites, spacecraft, and lasers. And that's when the whisper started. This wasn't a signal we were receiving, it might be one we had just interrupted. Data scientists began filtering the signal through Fourier transforms, searching for patterns. And hidden beneath what looked like cosmic static was a terrifying revelation, a pulse, not random, not natural, but structured. The intervals were too precise, like a whisper coded in chaos. Some thought it was a beacon, others believed it was telemetry, data being sent back to somewhere else. And the worst part, the pulse never changed. Since the first moment Webb recorded it, the signal had remained absolutely constant, not affected by radiation, movement, or time. This wasn't the voice of a dying star or a rogue planet. It was something that wanted to be heard, or maybe something that wanted to listen. Then without warning, everything changed. Three Atlas erupted in a burst of light, its brightness spiking by 40% in less than two minutes. No natural object flares with that kind of symmetry. Thermal readings showed the object's entire body heating up like a machine powering on, and then its trajectory shifted by fractions of a degree at first. Then with undeniable intention, 3 Eye Atlas corrected its path. It was no longer following the passive arc of gravity. It was aiming not directly at Earth, but near it, aligned with the inner planets, slipping just inside our orbital path. A maneuver so precise, so unnatural, it couldn't be dismissed. Something inside 3 Eye Atlas had woken up, and it was moving. After the trajectory shift, a team at the European Southern Observatory pushed the analysis further. Using spectral decomposition algorithms designed to detect organic molecules in exoplanets, they filtered the emissions from 3 Eye Atlas again and found something no one expected. Within the energy signatures were fluctuations eerily similar to biological rhythms. Not DNA, not proteins, but something more fundamental. Resonance frequencies consistent with cellular behavior. In other words, the light coming from 3 Atlas didn't just reflect energy, it fluctuated in ways that resemble living tissue. 
This wasn't some asteroid accidentally mimicking life. This was a signal encoded in light behaving like a living system, and the implications beyond comprehension. If the object is partly biological, it would mean one of two things. Either it's alive or it's carrying something that is. Just when excitement turned to fear, another anomaly emerged. Power levels, if we can call them that, suddenly dropped. The thermal readings flattened, the emissions dimmed, and the spectral pulses lost their intensity. But the object didn't slow down. It didn't drift. It kept moving with chilling precision, like a machine switching into stealth mode. Some scientists described it as a heartbeat pausing, holding its breath. Was it hiding from us? Was it reacting to our attention? One unsettling possibility began to circulate. What if we were not the first to observe it? What if this is its defensive state? What if every time a civilization gets close to understanding it, it shuts down? Whatever the case, the drop in energy didn't calm anyone. In fact, it terrified them more because a silent, cold, invisible probe is far more dangerous than one that makes noise. Then something happened much closer to home. Monitors at the South Atlantic Anomaly, Earth's weakest magnetic region, began detecting ripples, not solar flares, not gamma bursts, but localized electromagnetic pulses timed with Atlas's trajectory adjustments. As the object passed through the outer heliosphere, our planet reacted. Subtle shifts in our magnetic envelope echoed the pulses coming from the interstellar object. Physicists scrambled to explain it. No comet or asteroid has ever triggered Earth's magnetosphere from this distance. No naturally occurring body should be capable of generating synced electromagnetic responses. The only logical conclusion, we are connected. Atlas's emissions are affecting our world and perhaps communicating with it. At this point, a group of independent researchers put forth a theory too outrageous for mainstream science, but too compelling to ignore. They proposed that 3i Atlas was not just a spacecraft, not just a living probe, but a consciously designed intelligence. Not a machine piloted by something, not a drone deployed by someone, but the entity itself, a form of artificial or even biological intelligence born not in a lab, but in the depths of interstellar evolution. This theory suggests that in other parts of the galaxy, consciousness may not evolve in carbon and neurons, but in plasma, electromagnetic fields, and engineered matter. And if that's true, then Atlas is not a visitor. It is an ambassador of a type of life we've never imagined. A life that moves across galaxies, hides in comets, and waits patiently until a civilization is advanced enough to recognize its presence. And guess what? We just did. As global observatories recalibrated their instruments to follow 3i Atlas with maximum precision, a disturbing new measurement emerged. Gravitational lensing effects around the object weren't matching its estimated mass. In fact, the curvature it created in surrounding space implied the presence of something much denser, or more precisely, something capable of manipulating gravity fields. This broke every model astrophysicists rely on to predict motion and interaction between celestial bodies. The only time we've seen anything remotely similar, black holes. But 3 Atlas isn't a collapsed star. It's smaller than a moon. So how is it warping space around itself? Some theorists proposed it was using localized gravity control, not as propulsion, but as a navigation system. Like a submarine adjusting ballast to glide silently through an alien ocean. This would mean we're not just dealing with advanced engineering. We're dealing with physics that has been conquered and mastered, not studied. Then came what many now consider the most damning evidence of all. A small fragment trailing behind 3i Atlas broke off and began tumbling through space. At first, it was dismissed as standard comet debris. But when the Webb telescope locked onto it and analyzed its structure, the data froze the team in disbelief. This fragment wasn't irregular or organic. It was geometrically perfect. Smooth, flat surfaces, right angles, symmetry, the kind of structure that only intelligent fabrication can produce. And even more chilling, it emitted no detectable temperature, completely inert, no radiation, no heat. It absorbed light, but never returned a trace. It was almost as if it was watching, but invisible to itself. And its composition, Unknown alloys with atomic signatures not found anywhere on Earth or in known meteorite samples. 
This wasn't space dust. This was a part of something engineered. Astronomers at the Monarch Observatory in Hawaii began tracking three eye atlases spin behavior. Like many elongated space bodies, it rotated, but not randomly. Instead, the rotational pattern revealed something bizarre. Timed intervals that match certain mathematical constants. Pi, the golden ratio, and even prime number sequences. It was as if the spin itself was a broadcast, a language of motion, a kind of cosmic Morse code waiting to be translated. Some now believe this rotation is intentional, that it's not spinning due to momentum, but performing an act, a ritual of recognition, as if it's repeating a message over and over, a message designed to be seen, not heard, and it raises the ultimate question. Are we witnesses or the intended recipients? A final deep scan spectrometry reading from Webb's life detection algorithms revealed something that turned even the most skeptical minds into believers. Organic signatures, not stable carbon chains, not fossilized proteins, but flickering signals consistent with replicating structures. These weren't full life forms, but they were precursors, a scaffold of biological components, synthetic or real, embedded in the tail of Atlas. Two possibilities emerge. First, this could be some form of biological camouflage, an engineered mimicry designed to fool primitive sensors into thinking Atlas is natural, a tactic used by many species on Earth, octopuses, cuttlefish, even viruses. But the second theory is far more disturbing. This biological residue might be intentional seeding, a delivery system for spreading extraterrestrial genetic code. As if Atlas is not just a probe, but a messenger of life, a modern panspermia using advanced propulsion not to study life, but to spread it. As the object drew closer to the inner edge of our solar system, multiple magnetometers, both on Earth and aboard deep space probes, began recording a strange oscillation. Not the chaotic interference you'd expect from a solar storm, but precise rhythmic shifts in local magnetic fields. These pulses appeared in triplets, like a metronome with purpose, and they didn't fade with distance. In fact, their amplitude increased as 3i Atlas approached, suggesting the object was not just emitting magnetic energy. It was interacting with ours almost as if scanning or syncing with the solar system's magnetic layout. The pattern matched nothing in nature. Some likened it to a handshake protocol, like a spacecraft establishing a secure connection. But with what? The sun, earth, or something we haven't yet discovered lurking between the planets. Here's where things get even more unsettling. Communication specialists attempted to respond, sending carefully encoded radio pulses back toward three atlas using deep space network antennas. The signals were built around prime numbers, binary mathematics, and even artificial tones resembling musical intervals. But there was no reply, no echo, no bounce, nothing. Except one hour after the last pulse was transmitted, three atlas subtly altered its spin rate. Not enough for most instruments to catch, but precisely enough to be noticeable by the team that had initiated the message. Some took it as acknowledgement. Others saw it as dismissal. But either way, it wasn't random. It behaved not like a natural body absorbing a message, but like an entity aware it had been contacted and choosing not to speak. In intelligence analysis, this is called conscious non-communication, a psychological tactic where silence speaks louder than response. And in the vast vacuum of space, silence is terrifying. Backtracking through historical astronomical records, researchers discovered something no one expected. Subtle disturbances in infrared sky surveys dating back decades. In 1987, 1998, in 2013, there were small anomalies in the same vector along which 3i Atlas is now traveling. This suggests it might have passed near our system before. But the kicker, each appearance lines up with a sharp rise in unexplained radio bursts and gravitational wave anomalies recorded at the time. This raises the haunting question, has 3i Atlas been here before? And more importantly, is it looping? If that's true, this isn't just an object passing by. It's a repeating presence, possibly observing cycles of planetary development, human progress, or maybe something much deeper encoded in Earth's own timeline. The most recent recalculations of its path revealed something that sent shockwaves through the community, 
Three Atlas is not heading directly toward Earth, nor toward the Sun. Instead, its trajectory curves just enough to bring it into close proximity with Jupiter's moon, Europa. And even more curiously, the adjusted arc intersects with Saturn's moon, Enceladus. If the object were to make another pass, both are icy worlds, both hide subsurface oceans, and both are considered prime candidates for alien life within our solar system. So the new theory emerged. What if Earth isn't the destination at all? What if this entity, whatever it is, has been visiting ocean worlds to monitor, seed, or awaken life hidden beneath the ice? We assumed we were special. We assumed we were the point. But what if 3i Atlas's true interest lies in what's hidden beneath the surface of moons we haven't even touched? As the deep space transmissions faded into static and the object continued its silent arc, one theory gained terrifying traction. What if 3i Atlas isn't emitting signals to communicate because it doesn't need to? What if it's not trying to speak but to listen? Imagine a probe so advanced, so ancient that its sole function is observation without interference. No lasers, no landers, no messages. Just passive absorption of everything around it. Atmospheric resonance, electromagnetic fields, human technology emissions, even biological rhythms from Earth. Some researchers began to suggest that its silence wasn't a malfunction or a defense mechanism, but its default design, a perfect spy, invisible, undetectable until now. This reframed the entire narrative because if 30 Siri Atlas is a probe and it's been to this system before, then it means this isn't its first report, it could have already sent its data. And the real question becomes to whom? Perhaps the most haunting discovery came last. A research team at Caltech ran the organic spectral data through a comparative model, not against alien life, but against Earth-based genomic markers. What they found wasn't a match, but it wasn't entirely foreign either. There were structural parallels repeating nucleotide arrangements, echoes of patterns we see in viruses, retrotransposins, even ancient non-oding DNA sequences. The possibility that the biological residue trailing three atlas may contain information coded in a universal genetic language, a structure so fundamental that it can adapt itself across planetary environments, whether through evolution or design. In other words, this object may carry life-building instructions, not just seeds of alien biology, but perhaps the very templates from which life on Earth was sparked. The implications are beyond science. They touch on origin, purpose, and authorship. And if that's the case, then the final mystery isn't just what 3 Atlas is, it's who sent it. So now we know 3 Atlas is not just a visitor, not just an object passing through our skies. It's a question, a challenge, a reflection of our own arrogance and our deepest fears. We looked into the dark, hoping to find stars, and instead we found a watcher, a listener, maybe even a messenger. But from where? From when? From who? The James Webb Telescope has given us data, but it hasn't given us peace. Because what it found out there, organic trails, magnetic pulses, engineered symmetry, encoded patterns, doesn't point to nature, it points to intent. And when the universe reveals intent, it means we're no longer alone in the story. And that's the real fear, isn't it? That something has been observing us all along. That our radio signals didn't echo into nothingness. They reached something, something far older, something far more patient, and now it has returned. Whether three Atlas is a probe, a probe carrier, or the probe's creator itself, its silence is not ignorance. It is deliberate. And if it has chosen not to speak yet, then we must ask, what is it waiting for? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, because right now we may be living the first chapter of the greatest discovery in human history. And if you want to follow every step of what's coming next, subscribe, turn on the bell, watch the 